Hey guys, welcome back. Carlos here again. Uh, change of plans. Something new changed. I'm going to get rid of the computer, the regular LS computer. Uh, and I'm not going to be using HP tuners. I'll have it just in case, but I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to take the uh, PSI harness, the CH, uh, CNH30 or something like that, whatever that PSI harness is for the LS engine. That's coming out. Uh, I'm going to order the uh, Holly Terminator X. All right, guys, I'm excited. I got my present. And I'm sure I told you what's going on because of my change of plans. Here we go. There is the part number. Terminator X, LS1, NX6 kit. Beautiful. That is the part number. That's what I ordered. Let's open it up. Here we go. I already uh, opened it up. The little preview. All right, let me just start cleaning up real quick. Give me a sec. All right. All right, so what do we have here? Paperwork, a sticker. I bought the little one, not the big one, the little one. So let's see what, what we have. A lot of harnesses. Moving too fast, let me slow down. A lot of wiring. Harness for the computer. Guess what, my old one's coming out, as I told you guys already. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the three inch display. Yes. Beautiful. Guys, you don't understand. I can't wait. Put that right there. We got extra harnesses, stuff that adapters. That looks like it's an adapter. Yeah, adapter. All right. And it gives you the. Uh, it comes with an O2 sensor. So you can actually do uh it comes with an O2 sensor, so you can do your air fuel ratio. Anyway, so that way the computer can read it. Gives you the bong just like the uh, commercials do when they talk all about it. And here is my computer. It's the only thing that I'm thinking and it's missing. You guys don't understand how excited I am about this thing here. All right. Ah. No more vats. All right, focus. Come on, focus. There you go. Beautiful. No more vats. There you go. And this little line right here is basically the map sensor. I'm not going to use the stock one. I'm actually going to plug this into the intake and we should be good to go because it's got a built-in map sensor. That way it can... It's supposed to be plug and play. That's the goal. Plug and play. So here we go, guys. All the necessary hardware for me to get my vehicle running. So let's go. Okay, so here's my old... Well, my new old stuff. This is what I had before. I started playing with and it's attached to my computer in there. It's all gonna go in that box. I'll put it all together after. But right now, that's out of the way. Here, y'all seen it. We're gonna start with this. We're gonna start with this. Here we go. Another thing that's going bye bye. I just decided to go with the. Uh, my original ignition key. Um, let me show you real quick. Uh, under the dash, under the dash, where the steering column comes down with all the wiring. For those that are wanna tap into the um, ignition source, the big thick pink wire and the yellow wire. The yellow wire is basically constant and crank, 12 volt content, and then the pink one is ignition cranking only. Okay. So when you put the accessory on, this will come on. It will shut off when you do the cranking part of it, but this will stay on. So if you need crank only, 12 volt source and cranking, that's that's your bad boy right there. Right now I'm just doing this for now. And then I'll clean this up, button up the dash when I'm all set. So for now, that's that. Here we go. Injector harness. I love this already because it tells you ever so slightly. See, injector three, injector one, so I know which side I'm going to start. So I know injector one is on my side right here. 
So I look for my first injector. Boom, connect injector one with injector one. So let me see if I can get away with doing this one-handed. See how good I am. Hold on, hold on. One-handed. Yeah, right. Holding the camera and doing this. That's a struggle. Struggle in itself. Alright. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Because I'm stubborn like that. Ooh. It pays to be a little stubborn. Alright. So, I'll do the same thing with all the injectors. And I'm gonna wrap around. Plug in the other side of the injectors. Simple harness. Clean. I like it. You can hide it after that. So, here we go. Okay. So, it's color-coded. Here's my fuel injector harness that I just plugged in and I found my the other side, the female side of that injector setup. So I'm just going to plug it in. I should complete this order here. Simple plug and play. I'm trying to do a little one handed. Oh, jeez. Alright. I already plugged in my harness from the injector to my main harness. Terminator X harness. Now we're gonna drape over the ignition. Now this one's gonna power the ignition coils. And I gotta drape this this one over because that one is marked odd side. So I know cylinder number one is on this side. That's odd. And then this side will be even. This is gonna be the even side over here. So that's gonna go right here. Boom done so here's my odd side here's my odd side boom done all right coolant temp sensor there it is brand new done What's next? TPS sensor, throttle precision sensor. All right, this one goes right here. I think you can mess this one up. That should be it. Done. Manifold air temperature sensor. All right, that's separate. That's another one. I'm gonna have to buy a sensor for that. When I put my cold air intake, I'll do that. Fuel, if I wanna see a fuel digital readout, for the fuel pressure sensor. I would have to buy that if I want to use this. But uh, right now I have a mechanical gauge and I'm able to work with this. What is the other one I have left? IAC. That's it. IAC. Bang. Done. See, everything's pretty much plug and play. The only thing I have left is the fuel pressure and uh, intake. Oh, manifold air pressure. Okay, so there's just 516 bolts. There's five per side. I'm gonna leave most of this thing plugged in because I already did this a couple times. I'm gonna take this intake, lift it up just enough and move it out of the way so I can go to the camshaft and the oil pressure sending unit so I have access to it. I already did it once. I'm gonna go do it again. Neil was coming over here anyway, so. Okay, so I already loosened them up. Let's see. All right, she lifts up. So I'm just gonna lift her up just enough. Move out of the way. It's gonna be fun. I'll do this one-handed. All right, something's holding me back. We'll lift it. Okay, so as you see, See the bottom of the intake, I was able to move it just enough so I can get back here. And where I mean back here, right there, that's my camshaft positioning sensor. And over there, that is my mechanical oil pressure sending unit, my mechanical one. So they're next to each other, camshaft sensor, oil pressure, oil pressure sending unit, mechanical one. I'm gonna go from that to digital. So just got to take a uh, half inch bolt, undo that, pry this out, unplug it, let me see, there you go, that's unplugged. 
I'm just gonna get to it. I don't need to take the whole intake out, see? Just enough so I can get to the back. Everything's still plugged in. But I just gotta move everything back, make sure I don't pinch any wires when I go back in. So here we go. Okay, so I put my wrench on it, half inch. I'm not gonna tighten that that hard. All right, so. There you go. Okay, there it is. I'm finally getting the uh, or the last part of the oil pressure. It's in the unit. Swim it out. Uh, there you go. Got it. That way it wouldn't leak. Got the other one. By the way, the reason why I got this one, the plug on this one, it's like a T-shaped plug. Okay? And that was what I needed for an LS1 setup. The threads will fit the same as the other threads. Okay? Get your thread in the same way. Anyways, here we go. The reason I was able to find this, this was out of a 2004 Chevy Corvette. That's what I had to tell the guy at the parts counter. Look for me a 2004 Chevy Corvette. Guess what? As long as it's got a T-plug pigtail at the end, we should be good. And here I got my special oil pressure sending unit socket, in which it's a thin wall and it fits in here. There you go. Just gotta send in my uh, ratchet, tighten it up, be good to go. Okay, another thing, when you buy the Holly Terminator X, okay, it does not come with the alternator plug, nothing for the alternator, nothing for your charging system, it just uses your battery voltage, right, but you got an alternator, you got to use it, right, so I ended up buying one from Painless, I believe it was, eBay was able to sell me that, okay, so plug it in, that's what it is, it's just a one wire, but painless they come in with a resistor it needs the resistor for it to actually uh, excite the alternator and then my alternator's already got a source going to the battery all I got to do is snake this wire this red wire to ignition switch what it does as soon as, hit, as soon as I hit the ignition switch it excites the wire it excites the alternator the alternator starts charging the battery simple I can do that so here we go all right, so here we are, guys, underneath my steering column and all the big wires. So I already powered my computer with a pink wire. 
and also the yellow wire. Now this orange wire, all I need is just accessory switch. That's all I need for me to excite the, uh, so I'm just going to put my key in. There you go. As soon as I turn my key on and off, beautiful. So I'm going to tap into this one, the big orange one at the bottom. Big orange one at the bottom. So I'm just going to tap into that. Get it ready. Solder, solder it up and then on its way. Tape it up or whatever on my way. All right. So that's done. Moving on. Also, little mini radiator here, a little cooling thing. Took the stock one, the factory one, out. And I routed that to, there you go, my brand new power steering pump. There you go, these are the two hoses I needed to tap into. And this one over here. Tap into that one, and this one, we're good to go. All right guys, in conclusion, just to let you know, the main reason why I bought it is because uh, you can actually do turbos, you can actually um, nitrous if you want, and then if I want to change it up later on, if I want to change my engine, because right now it's going to start out as a NA, meaning just plain simple engine, um, but as I go change it, basically uh, I can keep the same computer, do some tuning, and I don't have to keep messing with it. Uh, but for now, I got to get new injectors. I come across that I got to get new injectors for it. Holly does something real nice. It gives you LED lights and lets you know where is the source of the problem. And the actual plug in some injector, um, stock injectors in which I don't have. I need to now get some injectors that's going to work with my computer because it's already programmed in the computer. So I need to get me the injectors that I need attempt to start the engine I was I was I changed my camshaft positioning sensor like I said before I put it in an all new um, oil pressure switch I can see that also I can see a readout on that so right now all, all, all in all it's a good computer good setup I just got to be patient enough to wait I got to check my timing just to make sure we're good and all that stuff um, but all than that hey guys we'll see you soon and this engine is going to start it's going to go it's just it's gotta be patient that's all gotta get new injections new ignition coils new wiring a lot of little stuff going on it's just bear with me we'll get it going for you guys appreciate this bye carlos